Welcome everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Ramirez and we're going to be starting this class called Environmental Education Methods and uh, I want to spend a little bit of time uh, just um, talking to you all and letting you all know about some of the things that uh, you need to know about EE. Uh, first of all, I think we probably need to define EE and EE basically refers to uh, the organized efforts to teach about how natural environments function. So let me go ahead and uh, tell you what that uh, that is, just write it out for you. Uh, it's a fun class that you all are going to be enjoying and um, I hope you get a lot out of it. Uh, what I'm going to try to do right now is um, just give you some some background that you can come back and refer to at a uh, later time. Uh, I'm sorry I write slow, but uh, I'm just learning how to work with this um, uh, writing pad, and uh, it's a little trick uh, that that I haven't uh, quite learned. Um, so I uh, just bear with me and take notes as you uh, go along with um, this, uh, this course. Um, I'll probably have later on some things already uh, done for you. Uh, so that I can avoid all of the the writing uh, yeah, okay hold on of course you know how natural environments function there you go okay there you go that takes care of that uh, let's uh, kind of uh, look and see what uh, what we're talking about here. Uh, first of all, let's think of EE, um, environmental education, um, and its relationship to uh, other things, uh, especially human behavior. And of course, uh, one of the influences that um, EE is going to try to instill this in people is responsible uh, behavior. And uh, that's usually something that we think of and in terms of uh, ecosystems, uh, and we can define ecosystems uh, as those uh, ecological systems that are out in the uh, environment. Uh, and of course we do that for a particular reason, and that is uh, sustainability. Uh, we have to live on this earth with all kinds of creatures and um, we uh, have to kind of see how that um, relationship uh, works. Uh, we um, oftentimes do it by working with the media and there's a lot of com campaigns in there out there uh, for that uh, we also have uh, formal uh, the arrow here uh, formal programs that we see in our schools in uh, k-12 education in our k-12 schools uh, we also have um, relationships with uh, informal uh, 
education, such as uh, museums and uh, and zoos. So let's put here museums. zoos, um, all kinds of other uh, things. Let's see, we'll put it all together. 